what's up guys? It's Liam V. Sorry if I sound like I have a cold. It's because I do and I'm still recovering from my Hong Kong trip. And speaking of Hong Kong, I've been getting a lot of requests to do the Hong Kong inspired look. So I decided to grab my friend Nina's makeup. <laughs> and she's going to do the eyeshadow that she did for me in Hong Kong and I'm going to do the buns and show you guys step by step how to create the Hong Kong inspired look. So, let's do it! <laughs> so, we are starting with, what is that? Primer. Primer. Primer! Well, the label's pretty much rubbed off. <laughs> you might need a new one. <laughs> Too Faced Shadow Insurance. There you go. There we go. Can't it's bomb. It. I use it obviously a lot. Yeah. <laughs> She uses it all the time. So you use this because it helps make the eyeshadow last all day and it helps give more pigment to the shadow that I put on. Ooh. Yeah, this stuff makes it stick. So you guys, me and Nina got henna tattoos in the Philippines and so excuse the half done henna or the faded <laughs> henna because it looks Crazy. It used to look like this, and now it looks like this. Show them yours. Yeah, it's oh, hers is my, actually this one here. It's on. Oh my god. But everywhere else it's retarded. But look at. <laughs> you could barely see this. Oh, it's a little bit. It means friendship in Chinese. Because we're friends. <laughs> really. <laughs> okay. Now we're doing. What is this? So this is just a light nude skin color that I put on the whole eye just to give it a good base. base. So this is the first shade she puts on. Now I'm using a soft brown color to go in the transition crease line. This is just to give me a start. I'm gonna put the red over this, but I always like to start with a soft brown first, no matter what color I do over it. Now I'm using a light pink color on the lid just to give it a pop of pink brightness. <laughs> This is the red that we used. It's NYX. So the red goes into the transition crease line. Mm -hmm. And you want to keep it really soft because you don't want a harsh red line. Now I'm taking that same first nude color and going right under the brow to blend in the red. I love this part because it highlights my eyebrow bone. Yeah. <laughs> A key for me to blending is going over each section kind of over and over again, really working through and making sure it's a perfect blend. If there's no lines, you can't really see where it starts, where it finishes, it just works blends perfectly. The perfect blend. <laughs> now I'm taking a dark brown just for the outside corner. Give a little bit of depth. You spend majority of the time blending than just adding colors. Mm -hmm. So the eyeshadow is complete. Thank you Nina. Now we're moving along to the lashes. So I'm curling my natural lashes to prep them for my false lashes. You don't have to use the false lashes. I only use them just because it gives it that dramatic look. My little lashes. <laughs> so we're applying the lashes. I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> the wing gives it that cat eye look. Okay, so now for under the eye, I'm gonna take this everything pencil. See this? It's not a white pencil, it's a nude pencil. So I'm gonna go. Everything pencil, which yes. does everything. It does everything. <laughs> it can go everywhere. That's the point. We're gonna do it in the waterline. White under. Line. And now I'm taking the same black Make It Forever liner. I'm gonna go just underneath the lashes. The bottom lashes. Mm -hmm. 
cute. Now to start smoking out underneath, I'm taking a black shadow and literally going right on top of that liner. It also sets the liner too, so it really doesn't move. Brush like that. And now you just start smoking underneath the eye. So it's another blending technique. Yeah. I took a softer brown, super light, and just go right underneath. So I went from like a darker brown to a softer brown. Yeah. So black, dark brown, soft brown. Kind of gives it a nice faded, look. I went back in with this red color and the angled brush and went just on top of the black. Layers. Layers to this. <laughs> Then we're gonna seal it with some mascara. I love it! Wait, one more thing and then it's final. Okay, one more thing. To complete the mm. look, I take the same soft pink that I put on her lid. Okay. Look straight. And I'm putting it right in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see what you're doing. <laughs> Finishing the look with a little bit of gloss. And then she's gonna go into her buns. Thanks, Nina! Welcome! This completes the glam for the Hong Kong inspired look. Now, off to do my buns! Okay, so to do the buns that I did uh, for my Hong Kong trip, it's really, really easy. All you need is two hair ties and four bobby pins so all you have to do is make sure you part it however you want center or a little bit from a little bit to the side make sure you part it evenly you're gonna brush it upward so pretty much you're gonna give yourself pigtails there's one pigtail and when i Give myself the pigtail. I'm only gonna go halfway like this. See? Then I'm going to spread it apart like that. And then I'm gonna do it to the other side. <laughs> I look silly. The process of doing this hairstyle, you will look silly. But it's so cute at the end. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna pull it halfway through and create that little look like I got ears. <laughs> so then, after that, what I did with this extra hair that I didn't pull up, I wrap it around my bun like that. And I'll take little pieces from my buns and I will bobby pin them down. There's one bobby pin. See? I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll grab this extra hair right here and wrap it around. And pull a few pieces down. Boom! So the trick is really you can use as many bobby pins to create your buns uh, however you like. You can style your bun however you like if you want to pin it forward, pin it backwards, and make it more circular, however you guys want. But the bobby pins is pretty much what's going to form the bun. Also, it's easier if you curl your hair and you can do this whole bun thing and it'll give it a different look. But I like the straight pieces just because it gives it that messy look. All right, guys, so this completes the Hong Kong inspired look, the makeup and the two little buns. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Nina, for You're helping welcome. me with the glam. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to her YouTube channel. Yes. We'll be collaborating and do more looks for you guys. Oh, and also all the details of the makeup and whatever we used is going to be located in the comments below. So comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Good morning, guys. Today I am dressed up as a nerd for my next skit. Did I pass, you guys? Did I pass? Hi. Hi.